In this problem, we need to determine the reactions at the supports for question 15 in chapter 5. There is a 5 kN horizontal force with a 6 kN and 8 kN vertical force applied. At joint A, there is a revolute joint, so we can expect two reaction forces, represented as AX and AY. At joint B, there is a roller joint, so we can expect only one perpendicular force, represented as B. To find the forces, we can take the moment at point A. This approach eliminates the unknown forces AX and AY and simplifies the equation to only one unknown force, B. Using the equation of sigma MA, the sum of moments at point A in the clockwise direction equals zero, we can calculate the force B by considering the clockwise moments caused by the 6 kN, 8 kN, and 5 kN forces. The moment caused by the force at joint B is negative and also contributes to the equation. Solving for force B, we get a value of 9 kN. Next, we can use the equation of sigma fx, the sum of forces in the horizontal direction equals zero, to calculate Ax. Since the force in the horizontal direction is only the 5 kN force, we can easily find that Ax equals negative 5 kN. The negative sign indicates that the assumed direction initially was incorrect, and the correct direction is to the left. Lastly, we can use the equation of sigma fy, the sum of forces in the vertical direction equals zero, to calculate a y. By adding the forces in the vertical direction, including the reaction force at joint B, we can find that a y equals 5. The positive value indicates that the initially assumed direction was correct. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to ask any questions or share your thoughts in the comments. Please subscribe to us and share the content with your friends.